Hello, weird kitties. This is Aiden, and today's drawing video is going to be a special memorial for a very special performer. At the end of last April, the world lost Billie Hayes. She was a very talented actress who did a lot of television, stage, and animation voiceover work. But the one role that she is definitely going to be remembered forever for is Witchy Poo, the nemesis of H.R. Puff and Stuff, the Sid and Marty Croft show from the 1970s with a lot of weird puppets and weird puppets and... You know what? I think that's all you really need to know. Is it just a ton of weird puppets and Witchy Poo? It seems like whenever I have weird or unusual interests, I end up sort of making excuses for them saying, you know, oh, it's kind of weird, but that maybe that's my thing, and then maybe that's your thing too, or it's kind of dumb, and that's my thing, or blah, 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 blah. In the case of HR Puff and stuff, yes, it's very, very weird, and it is very, very dumb, and there is only a very special kind of audience for it, either the kids who grew up with it, who are now probably too old to be watching these videos, or complete weirdos who, like, really weird stuff, exactly like the kind of stuff that Sid and Marty Croft have been making for decades now. I'm not even going to try to describe H.R. Puffin stuff. You, you gotta see it for yourself, and I'm hoping most of you, who or my regular viewers, who are fellow weirdos like me, have seen it. It is strange and unusual, and as much as I hate using the word camp, I know some people hate that word, some people wear it like a badge of honor, but there there is no other way to describe it. It is the ultimate camp experience. The real standout for the show was, of course, Billy Hayes, and it really says a lot to her talent that a show filled with this much bizarre imagery, she still managed to steal every single scene she was in. Doesn't matter what kind of disturbing thing you were seeing on screen, your eyes were always focused on Billy. She had this incredible manic comedic energy, sort of along the lines of Frank Gorshin or Robin Williams, where she was just completely unhinged, madcap, and it was wonderful to watch her. She was an amazingly talented performer. She's always going to be remembered for Witchy Poo, and honestly, Witchy Poo is a fantastic villain. It's just the perfect balance of a threatening character who's also so ridiculous that you're not, you can't entirely be scared of her, but at the same time, she's a serviceable villain. The H.R. Puff and Stuff show may not be for everybody, but the main thing I would recommend is the movie, which is just called Puff and Stuff. It's sometimes called Puff and Stuff Zaps the World, and that really is Billy Hayes' film all the way. She is working with some other great performers who are playing witches, uh, Mama Cass and Martha Ray, and they're all fantastic. The witches are absolutely the best part of the movie, is just how completely unrestrained these performers were and just saying, you know what, let's have fun. I don't care how ridiculous I look. I'm just going to go out there and have a blast. And the results are worth it. When you watch that film, if you're in the right kind of mindset, it is a fantastic experience. Once again, not for everybody. Once again, I don't care if it's not for everybody because I'm a weirdo and I love it. The other great witchy poo appearance that I very highly recommend is one, oddly enough, that did not have HR Puff and stuff in it, but it had another bizarre weird creature named Paul Lind. And that, of course, would be the Paul Lind Halloween TV special. The special itself with just Paul Lind and whatever, just doing the comedy sketches, it's, it's just your typical variety show stuff or whatever. The two big things about this Halloween special that are worth seeking it out for is, number one, I'm pretty sure this was the first TV appearance of Kiss. And Kiss, I'm probably going to have to do a drawing video of those weirdos someday. But for the sake of this video, the real highlight of the Halloween special is not only seeing Billy Hayes, but seeing Billy teamed up with the most famous witch of all time, of course, Margaret Hamilton, reprising her role as the Wicked Witch of the West. And the only thing better than one insane, hilarious witch is two insane, hilarious witches. And these two play off perfectly from each other. Billy, of course, it manages once again to steal the scene. And that really is saying a lot. If you can steal the scene from the Wicked Witch of the West, then you're really, then you really are on fire. Just don't have any water near her. Eh? Okay. Every one of my fellow weirdos, if you're the kind of person who watches these drawing videos regularly and likes the same obscure, weird, and, uh, campy stuff as I do, you're definitely gonna love it. Billy Hayes was a fantastic performer, and I really wish she had gotten a lot more accolades, but it sounds like she had a long and fantastic career and a long and fantastic life. She was an advocate of animal rights, which is wonderful. 
She was working pretty well up into her her 90s, I think. She only retired a little while ago, and she was doing a voiceover work for animation up until then. Her animation credits are pretty impressive. I've never really looked them up before until just recently. So, Billy, rest in peace. Thank you so very much for all the memories you gave, both to the children who first saw you on, on TV back in the 70s, and for all of us weirdos who continue to enjoy your performances up until then. Thank you for zapping us all.